In our night sky, one of the most remarkable stars is Betelgeuse, also sometimes humorously referred to as Betelgeuse. This red supergiant star, located in the constellation Orion, is both massive and unstable. If placed where our Sun is, Betelgeuse would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Its immense size and instability suggest that it may be nearing a dramatic end. Astronomers believe Betelgeuse is on the verge of a massive cosmic event, possibly a supernova, that could create a once-in-a-lifetime celestial spectacle. Recent observations using the James Webb Space Telescope have raised alarms in the E. Astronomical community. Notably, prominent scientist Brian Cox has issued a serious warning about Betelgeuse's behavior, prompting the question, are we about to witness a supernova explosion so powerful it will permanently alter our view of the E night sky? Stars live through incredible life cycles, and Betelgeuse is currently in one of the final stages of its evolution. It is a red supergiant star, estimated to be about 764 times larger than our Sun. This scale is nearly incomprehensible to humans. If Betelgeuse replaced the Sun, its surface would extend past Mars's orbit, showcasing just how expansive and evolved it is. This massive star, estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old, has already undergone several transformations, from a hot blue main-sequence star to the red supergiant we see today. One of Betelgeuse's most distinctive features is its deep red color, a result of its surface temperature being significantly cooler than the sun's. While the sun has a surface temperature of around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface is about 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature shifts its emitted light into the red part of the spectrum. Interestingly, historical records from Roman and Chinese astronomers describe Betelgeuse as yellow around 2,000 years ago, while Arabic astronomers in the 9th century noted its red hue, indicating a change in its temperature and composition over time. Betelgeuse is also classified as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness changes in somewhat predictable cycles. The star undergoes both a 400-day and a longer five-year brightness cycle, first documented by Sir John Herschel in 1836. However, Betelgeuse has also shown erratic fluctuations that deviate from its expected patterns, suggesting complex and less understood processes within its massive interior, a particularly dramatic event occurred in late 2019, known as the Great Dimming. Betelgeuse unexpectedly lost a significant amount of its brightness, enough to be noticed even by casual observers. The star dimmed at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, reaching its faintest state by February 2020. This rapid dimming surprised astronomers worldwide, leading to widespread speculation about whether it was a precursor to a supernova. Observing. Betelgeuse is complicated by the fact that it lies approximately 725 light-years away. This means that the light we see today actually left the star around the year 1300. As such, real-time observation is not truly possible, and any changes we witness are actually centuries old, complicating efforts to monitor and predict its behavior. Dr. Andrea Dupree and her team at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics closely studied the star during this dimming event. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, they monitored changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere over a three-year period. Their observations focused on the ultraviolet spectrum and revealed massive amounts of hot material, moving at approximately 200,000 miles per hour, being expelled from the star's southern hemisphere. This material traveled millions of miles from Betelgeuse and condensed into a dust cloud that partially obscured the star, causing it to appear dimmer from Earth. The material released during the outburst was estimated to be twice the usual mass, ejected by the star. While all stars lose mass over time, the scale and speed of Betelgeuse's loss were highly unusual. This raised further speculation that the great dimming might be connected to an imminent supernova. If Betelgeuse were to explode, its proximity to Earth, only 725 light-years, means it would be one of the most visible and scientifically valuable supernovae in recorded history. Several theories have been proposed to explain the sudden dimming. One suggests that it was a pre-supernova phase, 
Another posits that the dimming was caused by a large dust cloud formed from the star's own expelled material. A third possibility considers changes in the photosphere, the star's outer visible layer, potentially due to giant star spots or convection cell activity. Further investigations supported the dark spot theory. Spectroscopic studies showed that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by about 170 Kelvin during the dimming period. This significant decrease suggests massive structural changes on the star's surface. The Hubble Space Telescope, through ultraviolet spectrometry, revealed that the ejected matter formed hot plasma that eventually cooled into dust grains, forming a cloud that blocked light from roughly a quarter of the star's surface. These events point to Betelgeuse undergoing one of the largest Mass ejection events ever observed from a star of its kind. In fact, the expelled mass was estimated to be hundreds of billions of times greater than that released by a typical solar coronal mass ejection, potentially weighing several times as much as the moon. This monumental release of material forces astronomers to reconsider long-held assumptions about how red supergiants evolve and die. Previously, it was believed that such stars lose mass gradually in a steady process before going supernova. Betelgeuse's massive and sudden ejection challenges that model, hinting at a far more turbulent and unpredictable end. Adding to the intrigue, Betelgeuse moves through space at about 67,000 miles per hour, creating a phenomenon called a bow shock, similar to the wave formed by the bow of a moving ship. This interaction between the star's outer layers and the interstellar medium offers further insights into how massive stars interact with their environments and shed mass over time. Following the mass ejection, Betelgeuse's surface appeared to cool and become less dense, indicating ongoing instability. Hydrodynamic models have linked the convective behavior inside the star to the ejection and the subsequent changes in its pulsation mode. Its high mass loss rate and unpredictable behavior suggest complex internal dynamics that are not fully understood, forcing scientists to revisit their models of stellar evolution. This brings us to a pressing question. Is Betelgeuse about to explode as a supernova? While the exact timing remains uncertain, the unusual recent activity has certainly reignited scientific curiosity. Comparisons are being drawn with supernova SN 2023-IXF which was discovered in May 2023 in the Pinwheel Galaxy, Messier 101, only 21 million light-years away. This supernova, discovered by amateur astronomer Koichi Itagaki, offered a unique opportunity to study a relatively close stellar explosion. Within days, it dramatically brightened before beginning a steady decline. Spectral analysis of SN 2023 IKXF revealed strong emission lines, indicating intense interaction between the explosion's shockwave and surrounding gas. The parent star is believed to have shed up to one solar mass of material in the final years of its life, indicating its end was highly turbulent, much like what might be occurring with Betelgeuse. Some researchers, such as those from Tohoku University, believe Betelgeuse may now be in the carbon-burning phase of its life, a stage that precedes core collapse by only a few decades. Others, like scientists from Hungary's Konkoli Observatory, argue that Betelgeuse is still burning helium and might not explode for another 100,000 years. Regardless, there is broad agreement that it is likely to be the next supernova in the E. Milky Way. Historically, supernovae have provided immense insights into stellar death. From the supernova of 185 CE, recorded by Chinese astronomers, to SN 1054, which created the Crab Nebula, and SN 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud, the first to be observed across the full electromagnetic spectrum, each event has advanced. Our understanding of cosmic evolution. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova, it would produce a cosmic light show visible even in daylight for weeks or months. The explosion would release more energy in a few seconds than the sun will emit over its entire 10 billion year lifetime. This explosion would emit electromagnetic radiation, including visible light, X-rays, and gamma rays. But due to its distance, over 267 trillion miles, it poses no direct threat to Earth. More than just a visual spectacle, a Betelgeuse supernova would offer scientists a front-row seat to a stellar death 
allowing them to study neutrinos and heavy element dispersal, in real time, it would help answer fundamental questions about the fusion of elements, the mechanics of core collapse, and even dark energy's role in the universe's expansion. In the end, while Earth is safe from any destructive effects of Betelgeuse's eventual explosion, the star's fate continues to captivate astronomers and the public alike. Whether the final act comes in a few decades or millennia, the story of Betelgeuse offers an awe-inspiring glimpse into the life and death of stars.